Okay, we're still walking through and just came across this, a Hennessy Venom. This is something you don't see every day. Full carbon fiber body. This car is insane. I cannot imagine what is the spec on this car. The horsepower and the torque, but uh, there it is, friends. A Hennessy Venom F5. And then right over here, we've got one of Dave Kindig's Corvette Roadsters. They're building these over at uh, their shop in Utah. Saw these at SEMA, and uh, it's a beautiful build. Again, this is one of those cars where if money is no object, this is maybe one of the things you get. That is just a beautiful, beautiful little car. And it certainly is getting a lot of attention over here. Everybody wants to stand around and take a look at it. Including me. That is nice. And let's keep moving here. This is, hold on. A Cody 61 birdcage? I saw this in the uh, guidebook, and look at how crazy this interior is. What an insane build. Let's take another look at the interior here. big piece of plastic separating the driver and the uh, passenger. Not that you'd really want to carry too many passengers in here. Very, very nice. And a uh, Lotus race car, type 66 it says, so I'm going to believe it. And then Vegas Auto Gallery brought a couple of cars. This is the uh, Porsche 918 Spider. This is a beauty. And of course, there's just not too many of them, 918 of them. That is a really great looking car. And then next to it is a Ford GT that they brought, which is one of my favorites. This is a 2006, if I'm remembering correctly, extremely low mileage. Love these little cars. Lamborghini Countach. This is the new version. Kind of the resurrected Countach. Incredibly beautiful car. Really, really like these. You get the name. Of course, it doesn't bear a lot of resemblance to the original, but uh, beautiful car, nevertheless. And then a Pikes Peak car. It's called a Radford Type 62-2, a Pikes Peak Special. And keep moving along to another Radford. This is described as the street version. Uh, if that's a street version, it still looks like a proper, proper race car. No matter how you slice it. And now over to 
a couple of Bugattis. These are Manny Cushman's cars. And uh, the Rembrandt Vitesse. These are certainly one-off cars. Amazing spec on these cars. And then this beauty is Hermes edition, or Herme edition. Look at that. Let's see if I can get an interior shot. I don't know if you can really see that through there, but that is stunning. And that car is a bunch of money. And thanks for bringing it, Manny. And then another Bugatti over here. Look at that purple. That color. Because <laughs> with the Urus. Yeah. And look at the engine compartment visible. is not an inexpensive car. I think we kind of hit the expensive end of things because we've got a couple others to look at. We'll take another shot of this here. And then right over here, let's keep walking. This is called a BAC Mono R. It almost, almost looks like a jet engine attached to this thing. These are wild. Really crazy. Okay, Koenigsegg. Let's go over here. Koenigsegg Gera. And then next to it is a Koenigsegg Regera. Wow, that spec. It's kind of a blue tinted carbon fiber on the white. That is really a lovely, lovely look. Then the Koenigsegg CCX. And another full carbon body on this. So if you like carbon fiber, this is your car. Those Koenigseggs, that's another money is no object kind of car. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you ever watch Shmi on YouTube, He's got a Zenvo, and here is a Zenvo. I don't know if this is, I don't think this is his car, but uh, man, look at the uh, interior on this. That is just a wild car. And there's two of them here. There's this, and then there is this. Another amazing build. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't see these cars in this country. But here it is. And yeah, it's getting a lot of attention here. Making the, the rounds, the shows, the yeah, to bring awareness and get to the bar. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the Zenbo. Like I said, you just you just don't see these here, and yet here's two of them. 
Let's not ignore the Pagani. Here is a Waira. Also, look at the beautiful tint on that carbon fiber. Blue and natural gray. And then there's a Waira Roadster. Same all exposed carbon body. These cars are just madness. Again, you know, these are cars that are, you know, if, if money is no object, then I, I suppose you'd probably buy one of these. But, uh, man, it's very cool to see them here live and in person. Amazing cars. I wanted to stop and show you this real quick. This is a Bugatti Mistral. This is their convertible or open top Bugatti. And uh, wow, what a beauty. Great color for this car too. But uh, I had not seen one of these live and in person. So there is a Bugatti Mistral right there. I guess this is the kind of car show where you're gonna see this kind of stuff. So uh, there's that. And then uh, right next to it over here is another Koenigsegg Regera. And again, uh, just a stunning, stunning car. And uh, these cars get a lot of attention no matter what. And as you can see, there are people everywhere looking at this car. Carbon fiber wheels. That is really a pretty, pretty car. So, another Koenigsegg Regera. This is a 2019. Looks brand new. Very, very nice. So, if you uh, got a VIP ticket to this shindig, which I happen to have done so, uh, you get here into the pavilion for the food. And so let me walk you through here and see there's a, at the taco bar over there, here's a wood-fired pizza bar over here. Here's a bar bar over there and one over there. And you see you got this big indoor pavilion to sit and uh, enjoy lunch. And if you got the VIP ticket, then all the food and beverage is included. Ribeye, steak, bar and then dessert bar you can make your own ice cream sandwiches here cupcakes cookies and uh, coffee bar and an egg omelet bar and uh, like I said so you got all of that stuff and then the big pavilion here to sit and enjoy your afternoon lunch here at the show and you never know who you're going to run into at this thing you might even run into nicole hello catch me eating and like i said all kinds of celebrities here like local like, celebrities like nicole so this is what you get when you're inside the pavilion not so bad huh Okay, now we are working our way into the classic section, and you can hear the uh, PA going back there. So they've got a stage show going on up over here where the MC is talking about the cars and interviewing different people. But this is the uh, classic section, and there's some stuff over here that just defies imagination. But again, being a Concours, these are top of the line show cars. Like this beautiful Auburn boat tail. This is uh, the Auburn Speedster is one of my favorite cars ever. And uh, this again is uh, money is no object. This is this is one of the classics I would own. But look at the look at the tail end on that. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely stunning piece of coach work. And a full range of classics here. There is a full range of classics here 
Uh, and a lot of things I've never even seen. You know, you hear about these cars, but then you never, you never see them until a show like this, like this, for instance, a Duesenberg SJ. Look at this thing. The Phantom Let me Corsair work my way around over was here. It's a designed exercise, a dream car, if you will, way ahead of its time. Built 35 Duesenberg SJ. This is insane. I've never seen one of these. Look at that interior. Only one was made, powered by a cord motor. Look at the shape on this. This car's huge. It's hard to communicate that here in the video, but uh, this is an extremely long car. And what a what a beauty! Look at the exhaust. The way the exhaust exits the car here. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see what else we got over here. Okay, we saw this. This is a Cadillac Phaeton. And then another Auburn over here. And this is this Auburn. This is the color that I would want. This cream color. I've seen these before in this color. And uh, there's that big boat tail, as they call it. Were selected and were put into Just an amazingly beautiful car back when cars were real works of art. The Phantom Corsair is worth the trip. It is truly our Phantom of the Concord. Take a look at the uh, interior. What else is on your list? There's a 1941 Chrysler Absolutely Newport, beautiful. experimental car, a dual-call Phantom, if you can imagine, a nice. 1941. This is called a Kissel Speedster. But it has a Never heard of it? There it is. Chrysler builds, they build beautiful. And another Auburn. It's, it's called an Auburn 890. The bodies were built by LeBaron in Detroit. Of course, Chrysler was also in Detroit. Again, and that it stunning was owned by Lana Turner. boat tail. So there is some very special ownership to that particular car that's also in the National Automobile Museum in Reno, Nevada. It's bright red. You can't miss it. And it was used by Chrysler Beautiful. to point out advanced features. There's no running boards. 1941, no freestanding.